guys, I'm Lauren Vitale. On this episode of Lauren in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate cornbread. It's very easy to make and I'm going to show you what I think is absolutely crucial to making the perfect cornbread. Now before I get started, let's go over the ingredients. You're going to need some all-purpose flour, some yellow cornmeal, buttermilk, whole milk, eggs, plain old sugar, unsalted butter that's been melted, some baking powder, salt, baking soda, and some vegetable shortening. Now, you can make this cornbread in a, say, 9x9 nine nine square baking dish. You can make it in a 9-inch sort of round cake pan. You can make this in little muffin, in, like in a muffin tin to have cornbread muffins. But I think the absolute best way to make cornbread is in a cast iron skillet. I love the way it comes out in a cast iron skillet. And to me, there's just like, there, there's, no, there's no substituting it. I mean, it's just... It is what it is. It gets it just really crispy and delicious. And what I've got here is, this is like a nine and a half inch cast iron skillet that I'm preheating here on the stove on medium high heat. And I'm gonna let that preheat until it gets really nice and hot. And you also wanna make sure your oven's preheated to 375. So while that's happening, let's get going to making the actual batter. In this big bowl, I'm gonna add in my flour, cornmeal, Sugar, and I know it sounds odd, but if you ever made corn cornbread before, it's got to have some sugar in it. I have been making cornbread for a long time, and it is taking me quite a bit of time to get like sort of all the measurements perfected because it's something that you just have to constantly keep trying until you get it to your sort of desired, um, you know, texture and sweetness and all that. So, if this is a little too sweet for you, next time use a little less sugar. It's that simple. So. That's it. So get that, set that aside. You've got all of your dry ingredients there. In this big bowl, or well, this is actually a jug, I'm going to put in some buttermilk, which I made myself, which is whole milk and vinegar, regular whole milk, eggs, unsalted butter that's been melted. And I'm just going to give this a head start before I add it to the dry ingredients. Now we're just going to pour the wet into the dry. I'm going to switch to my little mixer here and just mix it until everything is really nicely combined, but just mix it long enough for the batter to be, you know, pulled together, but don't over mix it. Awesome. Okay, now you're going to need vegetable shortening. This is vegetable shortening. This is not lard. Um, and this is crucial to get those sort of crispy bottom and all around bits that I think is just like the best part of cornbread. But hey, what do I know? So this is going to go into my really hot cast iron skillet. And you just need to make sure this is all nice and melted. Once that's all melted, pour your batter right in. And I know it looks like there's a lot of Vegetable shortening there. I mean, it's only a quarter of a cup, but still. It's going to be delicious. Okay. Now, this bad boy is going to go into your oven. It's been preheating to 375 for about 20 to 25 minutes or until it's golden brown. And I will show you what it looks like once it's done and cooled just a little bit, just enough to handle. My cornbread baked for about 25 minutes and I let it cool quite a bit because that cast iron skillet was extremely, extremely hot and I didn't want to mess with it until it was cool enough for me to handle and feel comfortable around. My cornbread is just like, it's perfection. I mean, look how puffy and beautifully golden brown it is. I'm just going to have to cut a slice out right now for myself. Oh, it's so yummy. And I'm going to serve some tonight and then I'm going to save some to make some cornbread stuffing, which is so delicious, yet so ridiculously easy, which I can't wait to share the recipe with you. Look at that cornbread. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That crispiness around the edges. That, my friend, could win awards. Mmm. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. You need to get this recipe if you love cornbread. I guarantee it. It is a totally foolproof recipe that you're going to go to time and time again. To get it, go to lauraintherkitchen.com. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.